Hey guys, what's going on? It is me, Sam here. Welcome to episode number 5 of Venture Diverter. So to start off this episode, I'm doing something a little bit different than what I usually am. And this is actually Slayer. I decided to do this because the new Eretz monsters came out uh, at the time I was doing this. And I thought I'd go and try and see if I could get the new gloves, see if I could make a couple of mil. And just to do something different than, you know, just doing the bosses. So I was here at the Eretz and they're actually really good cash. They drop a load of awesome items like every kill. And they also, of course, got them bones which are worth about 10k at the moment. So I was picking them up and banking them and uh, literally making bank from them so uh, after that uh, I had another slayer task which was ice strike worms and I actually managed to pick up a crystal triskelion key piece this was the first one I uh, just thought I'd include that it's kind of cool even though you know you can't sell anything it's still a nice drop to get so I was happy about that uh, and another drop I did actually manage to get was a rare drop and this is 50 rune bars I know it's only 600k not really too much but I thought you know I'd still put it in the video because I've never had this before and I just think it's kind of cool and I also did pick up some adior as well which is like worth again nearly 600k so a pretty good drop at ice strike worms got kind of lucky but still it was very good so after finishing at Ice Strike Worms, I continued doing Slayer, and the next task I got was Dagonoffs. Now I didn't actually do the Dagonoff Kings, I just didn't feel like doing it at the time. Uh, so instead I just stuck with the regular ones, and I thought, you know, I'm going to mage these, and I didn't want to keep using my Chaotic Staff because it was a bit slow. So I decided to buy a wand and also a book, and uh, that, the wand I got was a Wand of Treachery, and I got an Aaron's Book of Magic as well. Uh, so I was really excited to use that because I've never really used a wand before, and I know they've always been good, so I was excited to use that Dagonoffs. And uh, when I did the task, I actually managed to pick up an effigy which was awesome had really good time killing him killed them really fast and it was just an overall good trip so after finishing with Slayer, I decided to head back to Tormented Demons to test my luck to see if I'd get myself some Dragon Limbs again, because if you actually saw the earlier episodes, I actually managed to get myself some of them after about 15 minutes, which is absolutely insane. If you don't know already, they are worth about 20 mil, so it's quite a lot of money, and I was hoping that history would repeat itself and see myself get some more, um, but it actually took me quite a while to get my first drop, and it was actually only a shard for the first part, um, but I'm still kind of happy nonetheless to get something. Um, you know, if you're not getting any drops for a while, it kind of does demotivate you, so to get something every now and then, it's always nice and then the next drop I did get after that was a dragon armor lump uh, again you know they're just worth over one mil uh, hence why you can see the beam of light uh, but still no dragon limbs but then shortly afterwards I did actually pick myself up some dragon claws which does sound awesome but unfortunately though they're only worth about 500k which kind of just goes to show that not many people use these anymore but still a drop is a drop and uh, you know it's kind of cool to see them on the floor again so I decided to have a short break from Tormented Demons just because I couldn't get them Dragon Limbs so I decided to head over to Bandos and only 25kc in I managed to pick up myself some Bandos Tassage which was awesome until I kind of price checked them and I only realised they're about 3.9 mil which is just kind of crazy to think that. I remember when I went to Bandos like they used to be over like 10 mil easily and uh, you know Bandos was really good money but from this trip I can probably just tell already that uh, it's not going to be worth doing at my level anymore. It's more for the lower levels. Uh, the next job I did get was a Godsword Shard 2. I don't know why I really include these just because you know they are only worth 150k but uh, the upcoming clips you'll actually see why I decided to include it um, because it is kind of funny the drop I did get so the next one was a clue scroll elite which I'm always very happy to get I'm always like I, I don't know why I just love doing elite clue scrolls just in case you know there is third age druidic in there and you know that's a lot of money I've heard it's in the bills uh, so just imagine if I got that Obviously, though, I wouldn't include it in the actual, uh, you know, Venture Diverse because it would just complete it. Um, but still, nonetheless, it'd be kind of cool to get one. Uh, but after that, the next drop I did get was a Bandos War Shield. Now, this is why I decided to include the Godsword Shard because when I price checked the, the shield, it was actually worth only 88k, which is just unbelievable. I can't believe a Bandos drop is 88k. When I used to go Bandos, the boots was always the troll drop, and they were worth about 1 to 2 mil at the time. So having an item so cheap is just unbelievable. So there we go for both of them. Um, both of them combined only 4 mil still kind of happy to get at least something though but really I don't think I'll be returning back to Bandos for a long time and then this guy here just wanted a quick shout out not really done this in a video before but I thought I'd just give it anyway uh, so shout out to him he just said he'd really want to be in it so I just thought I'd be nice and do that um, and then that was pretty much it for the whole trip uh, didn't really get anything else so just got the Bandos Tacits the Bandos War Shield uh, and just you know the Elite Clear Scrolls so nothing too like major from it but then again at Bandos there there really isn't anything that's too major I think like the helm and the, the chest plate are the two main pieces but like I said I don't think I'll be returning back to Bandos just because it's not worth my time you know there's other bosses out there which I can make a lot more money from um, but you know still made 4.5 mil from that and of course the elite clue scroll which I'm probably going to do right now 
Okay then, so here we go for the Elite Clue Scroll. Uh, straight away it was a fail on my part because as soon as I clicked unlock, I was in my house and it said that I couldn't open it. So that was a fail. Um, I didn't actually know about that. I've never done a Clue Scroll, never opened a Clue Scroll in my house. So uh, I just quickly ran out to Edgeville. And uh, the funny thing about it is I was actually live streaming. So yeah, it was a massive fail on my part. But uh, I just ran out to uh, Edgeville. And uh, let's see what I'm going to get inside. What am I going to get? Let's click on it. Boom! Oh god, look at that. This is actually really, really bad. Just got some potions, a UC by looks bit, and some arrows. I just really haven't had a good clue scroll in so long now. Like, I used to be the lucky guy on everyone's friends list with clue scrolls, but nowadays I just can't get anything. And it's really annoying because, you know, I do love doing clue scrolls, and I just can't remember the last time I got at least one sort of okay-ish item from a clue scroll like not even a one mil item i haven't had in so long it's really annoying uh, but i'm gonna still keep doing them and hopefully one day there will be third age inside and i'll be glad that i kept doing them so of course i had some unfinished business at tormented demon so i did decide to head back and uh, early on i did actually get a drop which was the dragon armor slice uh, they always scare you when you get them on the floor because of the beam of light straight away you're just thinking please be the dragon limbs uh, and then you just sort of realize it isn't and it's just like oh what a shame uh, and then after that another beam of light this time it was a starved ancient effigy again i was thinking this is it this is a dragon limbs because it had quite a big beam of light on it and uh, the beam of light actually does change depending on how valuable uh, the item is and of course effigies aren't valuable but they still kind of show up for them just because you know they're worth picking up um, and then I did get another drop which was dragon calls I've literally had every single drop now apart from dragon limbs I've killed so many probably at this point about 500 and I'm just thinking to myself like when will I ever get these dragon limbs I mean I've just been killing them for so long now and I've just not seen any but thank god I did actually manage to pick up some this is actually the same trip I believe and uh, I just saw them and I was just going crazy I was so happy when I actually right clicked and I knew for sure that it was dragon limbs and not some other random drop and like it just because I've been killing them for so long I've just been trying to get this one single item and then I can get out of there just seeing it there was just like yes thank god for that because I was getting a bit sick of TDs I love them actually they're one of my favorite bosses but when you're at the the same place for so long it does get kind of repetitive and killing 500 is a lot and uh, you know having so many other drops and then just not getting the dragon limbs was just frustrating but there we go the dragon limbs are finally here at 21 mil really really happy about that they're a lot of money look at that compared to the dragon claws like they're not even worth 500k anymore uh, but just so happy to get the dragon limbs you can probably tell from the the mouse movement on the video but yeah really really happy about that and then the same trip I did actually get another item and this was the dragon armor shard I can't believe actually how many items I got that trip uh, I got the dragon claws the dragon limb and then the dragon armor shard I was just getting all of them so kind of happy about that just nice to uh, finish off I was just hoping maybe another dragon limbs that trip that would be kind of funny um, but yeah very happy overall on uh, all the drops and I also have a extra clip here of all of the drops I did actually manage to get from that Tormented Demons trip. Uh, so just adding them all now. I've got the 28 diamonds. I mean, they're the only other sort of worth uh, wild drop to pick up because they're noted and they're worth quite a bit. So I got 80k from them. I've got the Dragon Claws. I've uh, got the Dragon Armor Shard. And of course, the Dragon Limbs. Really, really happy about that. Just being, you know, able to leave Tormented Demons is nice uh, because I've just been there for too long. Don't get me wrong, I do like Tormented Demons, but I think anyone can uh, understand where I'm coming from here. You know, when you're just at the same place for so long it does get quite boring so just to see that final drop and just knowing that I can actually leave there and go do something else was really really cool so happy about that and I've now got two dragon limbs which is awesome Okay, so after finishing at Tormented Demons, I did decide to head back to Nyx just because I really did enjoy it the last time I went there and I wanted to see if I could actually get a big split because I like to get one big split for the actual series uh, just at one point because Virtus is still quite a lot of money and I realised you know, I still need to get quite a fair bit more uh, to actually get close to doing it. So Nyx was the perfect boss to go to and we did actually manage to get a split quite early on but unfortunately though it was one of the cheap ones. This was Pernix Boots worth about 10 mil uh, so we only got about 5 mil each. It was originally a trio uh, but we, you know, one of the guys actually randomly disappears it turned into a duo uh, so we got of course the 60 pernix boot shards uh, instead of the coins because of the recent update uh, which are worth about five mil so not too much but still i'm going to keep trying to kill next and hoping that we can get a bigger drop and uh, really make a difference for the drop tab Okay then guys, so the next drop I managed to get was probably or will be the biggest ever one for this whole series. We actually managed to pick up a Virtus one here at Next, which is unbelievable. Whenever I seem to go to Next, I always seem to pick up this one item and it is actually the most expensive out of the lot. I think when we sold it, it was around 180 mil, so we picked up 60 mil each. We we're doing a trio, um, you know, with the Decimus people, which was cool. You know, I've never done it with them before, so to get a drop and just be able to make that much so fast was really, really cool. And uh, I'm just really happy. This will be the big drop of this 
series. I tend to try and do this every, you know, every series I do is just to have one sort of big drop. And I think this Virtus one will be perfect for it. I mean, 60 mil each is going to be a big step forward to Virtus. Even though I think I've still got quite a lot of money to make, still maybe about 150 mil. So we are closing in on the final goal. But there's definitely still a lot more work to be done. I don't know if I'll be doing any more next just because I have made quite a lot of money here now. Uh, but yeah, I just have to wait and see uh, what boss I decide to go to next to kill. But guys, that will be it for episode number 5 of Venture Divertus. It's been another really successful episode. Look at that now. We've just added everything to the price checker. And it goes to 234 mil. So we are really getting kind of close now to Virtus. Still a little bit to go. But uh, we're definitely on the right track. And uh, it should be completed fast. But guys, that's going to be it from me. I really hope you've enjoyed episode number 5. If you have, please throw a thumbs up. And I'll see you in the next one.